Hey everyone, so welcome back to another episode of Bobo with Board. Today we're joined by Christiane Lamo. Yeah, so Christy is one of our skate writers for this year. This is her second year doing PCN here at Long Beach, and this is her first year on PCN Board. So Christy, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, for the most part. <laughs> yeah. So let's start off by talking about your first PCN experience. Take me through it. So I joined PCN just thinking, oh, I'm just going to do dances. And I was thinking in the back of my head, oh, maybe I could do skit. And I remember like stressing out about like the audition because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be late for my audition. Oh my gosh, this and that. But I ended up being the first one to audition. So they were kind of lenient about yeah. like me auditioning. And like I just was like, OK, you know what? I'm going to just give it all I have. And you know what? If I don't get what I want, then it's fun. So, um, when I got the call about um, Rizal, I was actually in the shower and I was debating whether or not I should have gotten out of the shower because I had shampoo in my hair. I oh, really, uh, you're mid -shower. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, this is important. I need to get out. So I ended up just putting my head under the water like real quick before stepping out with a towel, using my wet hand to like frantically open my phone. And then it was Justin on the line. And like, oh, like, and then I get you at a bad time, and I was like, no, you're good. Like, I, I'm fine. <laughs> What's up? And he's just like, oh, well, I just wanted to let you know that you got Rizelle. And I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Like, I, I honestly wasn't thinking I was going to get the role. And I was like, thank you so much. Like, I can't wait to start working. So, yeah, I absolutely enjoyed it. I did feel a bit upset that, like, I didn't do any dances to PCF, but I did do them for PCF, but. I was a little upset that I didn't do any PCN dances. I could have, but I was like, I really wanted to focus, focus on skating. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, like, speaking of, like, you you did dance for PCF, but you didn't get a chance to dance for PCN. Mm -hmm. um, if you, knowing, like, the, after seeing the dances that we did for PCN last year, were there any dances that you wish that you could have done? The Moral Princesses. The like, Vinta. The Vinta. Vinta. Yeah. Oh my god. I was like, first when I saw DJ and Lex on the, on the sticks, I was like, ah, I'm going to fall if I, ever, <laughs> if I ever got to do that. But I just thought that was like really, really nice. But I really loved um, Spanish. Like, with the, um, the, the wedding dance. It's yeah. like, honestly, like those were, Spanish was like the speed that I was like, man, I need. I actually really need to do this next year or something like that because it was just like all of um, Spanish's dances were like they were lively, they yeah. were fun, and the costumes were like really pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were. So like I was like, oh man, I, I really want to do that. I loved Mountain mostly just because like they were really easy dances mm -hmm. to learn, but also like the people I was surrounded by, they made it even more fun. Like, um, oh my god, Sakutin, right? Yeah, yeah. Sakutin. <laughs> stick dance. Oh yeah. my god, that was my favorite. <laughs> that one was my absolute favorite. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, this is. Because we were practicing for it first. Um, we were using chopsticks <laughs> that we got from Pandas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were using chopsticks. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Right, awesome. So now let's transition to talk about you as an individual. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's something that not a lot of people know about you upon like meeting you for the first time or just a couple months? I would say that a lot of people, especially like my brother comes along, a lot of people don't think I'm the older sibling. My brother is six foot, I think six foot one, around that age. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's one year younger than me and I'm here, five foot, five foot one. Especially when I um, entered, uh, when I transferred into Cal State, people thought I was a freshman because, well, new face I understood, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but also I guess because I'm yay high, <laughs> I look like a child. You're like I am baby, but yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I swear. <laughs> Another question about yourself is just like. Which Filipino stereotype do you think that you actually fulfill? I don't know, actually. I would probably say I'm the musical Filipino, I guess. The one that's like simping to Jeffrey Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> Always sings Lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of Filipino, probably. 
the one that always gets asked to sing at family parties. Yeah. <laughs> the one that has a magic sing at home. Oh. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure everyone has, but like, yeah, yeah. I'm the tip. I guess I would say I'm the musically Filipino stereotype. Well, speaking of covers, <laughs> you I actually saw that you had a cover of Shallow <laughs> yeah. on YouTube. Do you mind? Uh, doing us a sample and singing, uh, and singing. Sample. 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 Sing the chorus. Just no. the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> How off the deep end watches I dive in. I'll never be on the ground. Crash through the surface where it can't hurt us. We're far from the shallow now. Damn. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my song is like gold. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. yeah, so um, kind of like leading off of that, we are actually going to go into our next segment. Okay. Uh, which is going to be called Sing That Song. <laughs> so basically what's going to happen is we are going to give you the name of an artist and you're going to have five seconds to think of a song by that artist and then we're just going to ask you to sing about like 10 seconds worth okay. of that song. Does that sound good? Okay. Be quick. All right. Yeah. Are you okay. ready? All right, so first artist, Nikki. All right, next, Ariana Grande. Next one, Ed Sheeran. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. BTS. You can stop me loving myself. Oh, oh, ooh, oh. Okay. <laughs> now, lastly, AJ Raphael. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, girl? Come on. Oh my god, why am I blanking out on the songs? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, how do you think we could happen? Oh my god. I've been thinking, thinking about you lately. Maybe we can see. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I that. <laughs> no worries. All it's that was good. amazing. Oh, kind of just wanted to lead back into PCN before we end things off. Okay. So we have one final question for you, and that is what does PCN mean to you? PCN to me is like my foundation for my culture. I honestly didn't go too much into my own Filipino culture until I joined PAC and I joined PCN, which to me was a bit disappointing on my part because it's like, damn, like, I can't believe it really took me this long to be like, oh, like, I should be proud. I should be more invested in something that's a part of me. But I, on the other hand, it's like, okay, I'm glad I'm actually, it's better late. Oops, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, better late than never. Um, and just being able to finally, you know, I guess understand a bit more. Because with every story that um, comes in PCM, there's a new experience, there's a new meeting. There's a story that I can relate to or I can just think about. Especially with the Larry It Leon. I think mm. that was the first PCN I watched and I was like, damn. I'm sorry if I can say can I say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um like damn, like I didn't know that there was a guy named Larry It Leon and I didn't know that he was like he worked basically with Cesar Chavez. Like I was like, I didn't know that. Like there are things historically wise too that I didn't know and I never even bothered to even really ask my parents about because I just felt like it wasn't I wouldn't say it's not too important to ask but like I just never really thought about it. PCN to me means it's my foundation it's my um, building building stone to basically build up my the culture that I haven't had the chance to explore and to meet along meet along the way with people that like you know they bring they may feel the same way. So like it's an experience that like I would always encourage people but never force them to because it's like you know not everyone wants to do what we do maybe because like they have other stuff to do they they probably just have a reason why they can't. 
it's to me something that I highly encourage but never want to force upon anyone to do. And it's open for everyone. Like yeah. if you want to learn about our culture, like it's, it shouldn't just be disclosed to us, like us Filipinos. It should be open to everyone that is interested and they have an open mind to like learn from everyone around them. Well, awesome. That's a great answer. Well, Christy, thank you so much for coming to our show. Yeah. So that's all the time that we have for today's episode of Boba with Board. So be on the lookout for the next episode to come. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you in the next one.